We have a special guest joining us today to talk about an interesting hospitality program that might make your holidays a little bit easier. It's called the Extra Bedroom Program, and joining us now to talk about it is the Public Relations Coordinator for Santa Monica Travel and Tourism, Jackie Alvarez. Welcome to Studio 16. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great to have you. Before we start talking about Extra Bedroom, can you give us an overview of Santa Monica Travel and Tourism? So Santa Monica Travel and Tourism is the official tourism bureau for the city. We are responsible for marketing the city as a leisure, business, and conference destination. Um, we've been in Santa Monica for over 25 years now. We were formerly Santa Monica Convention Visitors Bureau, but went through a bit of a rebrand and name change um, in the last year. And really our primary objective is to increase visitor spending and to just make sure that the city is getting uh, the most the most economic benefits from all of our visitor spending here in the city. That's great. So tell us about the Extra Bedroom pro Program and how does it work? So the Extra Bedroom Program is a program that we've been doing for over 20 years now. Um, every year for, throughout the holidays from the middle of November to the middle of January, the local hotels in Santa Monica really use it as an opportunity to give back to the community by offering deeply discounted hotel rates to Santa Monica locals. So. If you are a Santa Monica local and you need more space, if you have visiting family and friends, and you know so many of Santa Monica residents here are renters, we all live in apartments, um, space can be limited. So if you have, you know, your parents are coming into town or your aunts or uncles and you need somewhere to put them, you can put them in one of our incredible hotels throughout the city at a highly discounted rate that nobody else has access to. Santa Monica is a very popular tourist destination, so I'm just wondering why the hotels do this. They must be fully booked this time of year anyway, right? Santa Monica hotels do run at really high occupancy rates. I mean, it's, it's a great problem to have. But again, it's just a really incredible opportunity for the hospitality community to give back to the locals. Um, and it's really, you know, it, it, it encourages locals to get in and to experience these hotels that we have at our doorstep. I mean, we have some of the most incredible hotels in the world. And I think that if you're a local, you know, you can, you can go months or even years before you set foot in them. But um, we really should, we really want to encourage locals to take advantage, to check them out, to experience them, and to encourage their family and friends to do the same. So I, I think our viewers are probably probably wondering how big of a discount are we talking about? So it's pretty significant actually. It, it, you know, the rates start at about $167, but it goes up to, I mean, the program includes some of our most luxurious hotels um, at up to 50% off of the rack rate. So wow. pretty significant discounts that really nobody else has access to other than Santa Monica locals at any point throughout the year. I think that's great that there's a wide range of price points for these residents. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, and really even luxury hotels. Even luxury hotels are included I mean I, it's I, I do this program every year when my parents come to town I put them in I mean it's it, it's it, it offers us access to rates that you know we just I mean for me I wouldn't <coughs> be able to put my parents at totally. no shutters or the Huntley or Casa Del Mar or something mm -hmm. like that so it's it's just a really incredible opportunity to, to take advantage of some of these rates that people can't get otherwise that's great and I liked what you said about getting some of the local uh, full-time residents here into the hotels because I met some friends at shutters not too long ago. It's mm. amazing. And the we Lowe's Hotel I went to a convention at uh, not too long ago. Beautiful hotels. We really have some of the most incredible hotels in the world. I mean, people travel from all over the world to experience them. And it's it, we're very, very lucky. And, it, you know, it's not just for visitors. Some of these hotels have incredible restaurants, spas, gyms. Um, Fairmont has the Exhale Spa that has, you know, a cardio class mm -hmm. that I go to every Wednesday night. Lowe's has an incredible spa, an incredible gym. I mean, you know, Shutters has some of the best happy hour in Los <laughs> Angeles. Right. Like, it's just it, we're really trying to encourage locals to take advantage of these incredible hotels and the hotel programs, uh, the hotel dining, just get in and experience it because people travel from all over the world to to experience, experience Santa Monica. What we have in our yeah. front yard, right. so we really want right. it to encourage others to do the same. That's yeah, great. and the uh, the fig tree at the Fairmont Hotel. Have you seen it? It's, it's like the beautiful. biggest, so most beautiful. beautiful tree One of the oldest I think trees, I've ever I think seen. Too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not usually Historic. one to stop and say, wow, this is a beautiful tree. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's but amazing. The Fairmont fig tree is incredible. That's right. great. Okay, so um, what else is Santa Monica Travel and Tourism working on? Do you have a big 2016 ahead? We do have a big 2016 ahead. Um, every year is, you know, nonstop. Um, in terms of local programs, we have our annual Eat Well Week coming up. So Eat Well Week is a culinary program that we run each year in January to kind of kick off the year on, you know, a healthy start. And this year we're doing something really interesting. It's from January 11th to January 17th. 
and we are going to make a little bit of a friendly competition this year among the chefs in the city. Again, we have some of the most incredible chefs in the entire world here in Santa Monica, you know, the most incredible produce. And we're going to run a competition where we're going to organize um, all of the chefs get an ingredient, and this year it's going to be an artichoke. Uh. And everyone participating in the program is going to create a dish centered around the artichoke. And it's going to be healthy, it's going to be you know, Santa Monica fresh, and then locals are going to be encouraged to go in, check out this dish, this artichoke dish, and then vote on what their favorite Eat, eat Well Week artichoke dish is. Nice, yummy. Yeah, so it's <laughs> going to be fun to you know, integrate Santa Monica produce, Santa Monica chefs, the locals get in, try it out, and then vote for your favorite. That's nice. fun. Anything with food, I'm there. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sign well, us up. And again, we're so spoiled. Free with samples. Yeah, Santa free samples. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jackie, when you're marketing Santa Monica as a tourist attraction, what are some of the key selling points? Santa Monica has so many selling points, it's, it's almost unfair. Uh, the beach, <laughs> right? The I mean, pier. the beach, the weather, the pier, it's incredible. Another thing that we really try to, you know, encourage in terms of spreading the message internationally is that Santa Monica is an incredible base to explore Los Angeles. So a lot of people, especially when they're traveling internationally, they don't just want to see one place. So right. we're really trying to educate people on how centrally located within Los Angeles Santa Monica is. So if you stay in Santa Monica, you can go shopping in Beverly Hills for the afternoon. You can go you know, for a night out in West Hollywood. You can even go to Disneyland for the day and you can still have that amazing beachside base. You, know, mm -hmm. you can still end your day with a, with a cocktail at Terraza in Casa Del Mar and watch the sunset, having done so many you know, important Los Angeles experiences while still getting that really quintessential California experience. And you don't need a car, you just hop on the bus, go right to Beverly Hills exactly. or downtown. I mean, you can, you can get around without a car really easily. Uh, within Santa Monica, I mean, it's so bike friendly it's so pedestrian friendly with our new breeze bikes there's just it's there's just no getting better to and get better. it's getting right. so so easy and then you know with the hop on hop off bike tours with the metro coming in with the big blue bus there's so many ways to experience los angeles from santa monica without ever needing to get in a car Great, great selling point, and of course the weather. The weather is, like is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have over 300 days of sunshine a year right. here. We are incredibly spoiled in in that area. And then also, I mean, our hotels. There's just right. th there's there's nothing to want there. There's just you know high end. There's affordable. There's there's budget. There's homey. There's just you know it, the entire range. Um, something for everyone. Something for everyone. <laughs> exactly. So I've always wondered. Um, where do the tourists come from? Because you walk down the promenade and you will hear eight different languages. Yes. One of my favorite things. It's too. amazing. <laughs> yes. Where do they come from? What data do you have on that? So our tourists come from all over. Um, in 2014 alone, we had almost 8 million visitors to Santa Monica. Wow. wow. Over 55% of those 8 million are international visitors. <laughs> so as an organization, Santa Monica Travel and Tourism really specifically intentionally targets those international visitors because they will stay longer, they'll spend more money, and they're actually far less likely to use a car than domestic visitors. Which is great for residents. Which <laughs> is great for <laughs> residents. You know, it, it's much less likely to tie up parking or traffic, mm -hmm. so we really specifically target those international visitors. Um, our top markets are Australia and New Zealand, England, Western Canada, Germany, and Mexico. Wow. wow. So really from all over. And you said Brazil is also a big one. Brazil is a huge emerging market for us right now. Um, American Airlines just launched the first international flight, um, direct international flight from Sao Paulo to Los Angeles. Oh, because yeah, normally so you'd have to go through Miami. Through Miami, and that's yeah. that's a much longer right. flight. Right. So for the first time, California is really getting on the radar of Brazilians, and we just want to make sure that we're um, at the forefront of, of that trend and really attracting those people to not just come to California, but to come to Santa Monica specifically. Now, what kind of economic impact does tourism have Tour for Santa Monica? Tourism has a huge economic impact on Santa Monica. Um, one of our... I think proudest moments as an organization is that tourism generates almost 14,000 local jobs. So wow. these are jobs that cannot be exported. These are, you know, people working at the hotels. These are the, you know, the front desk people, the house cleaners. These mm -hmm. are jobs that are in Santa Monica cannot go, cannot be exported. Um, there's also a huge Econo financial economic benefit. So the transient occupancy tax is a tax on that the tourists pay to the hotels. And in 2014, they um, it generated uh, $45.5 million. That went to the city's general fund. So that fund uh, goes to fund the fi police, fire, schools, parks, beaches. 
And then major, major financial impact. Jackie, thank you so much. What great information. I learned so much. <laughs> We're so happy to be guests. here in Santa Monica. Thank you yeah. so much thank for you everything for that you do. Thanks. Yeah. And um, for everything that Santa Monica Travel and Tourism does for you. all of us here yeah. at the community. Thank and you. that's all the time that we have. Please join us again next time. And remember, you can also watch us on our YouTube channel and leave us some comments. And be sure to follow us on Instagram for updates and information about all the fun things happening around town. We'll see you back here soon for more Santa Monica Weekly.